This line just went slack. Fish on. Fish off. Oh, oh, oh no. I was watching a carp jump multiple times right on top of where my bait was. I don't understand how he got hooked, but not hooked. I've been out here about four hours today, and I'm gonna keep fishing. Fish on, fish on, same rod, same spot as that first fish that I lost. Yeah. Oh, I think he got into something. Definitely got into something. I know there's a big boulder down there. I saw it on the fish finder when I was paddling around here earlier. I didn't see any trees. Okay, still on there. Okay, I think he came out of whatever it was. Feels like a pretty good fish. Got some power to him. I'd love it if I could get him to come, to land him on the left side of the kayak here because my other two lines are off to the right. hard for this fish today hours and hours got blisters from paddling nope 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 he's right under the kayak oh he's over here come on that's the thing about these cart they will fight forever long fights on these fish Net in the net. So I'm right next to the bank here. I'm just gonna get out and uh, unhook him, I think. This fish uh, been on a boily, homemade boily. It's hooked right in the bottom lip, hair rig. I think I just sat on my sunglasses. <laughs> first fish uh, out of the new kayak. First time out with this kayak, and uh, it's been a long day, but uh, it's been it's been really sunny, just bluebird skies for most of the day. But now I finally got some cloud coming in. The fish seem to be getting more active. Like I said before, this fish bit on a homemade boily, oats and corn pack bait. Let's let him go. All right. Get bigger. See you next time. 
So I guess uh, since it's probably going to be a YouTube video, I'll show you my kayak. It's a Old Town Sportsman uh, 120, 12 feet long, and uh, I'm really loving it so far. Um, seat sits up a little higher than the, the previous kayak that I had, and I'm not going to do a review or anything, but maybe maybe someday if people want to see it. But uh, yeah, first fish out of this kayak. Awesome. Yeah, I certainly did sit on my sunglasses. Okay. Guess that's what happens when you get excited catching a fish. And as you can see, I'm getting this kayak nice and dirty. First time out. Looking good, looking nice and fishy in here. There we go. Something was messing with it for several minutes and I just decided to leave it. Leave it alone. Looks like that was the right thing to do. This magic rod today. All three bites have come on this rod. This fish is just coasting on in here, swimming with me as I pull him. All right, there he's fighting back a little. That's more like it. Well, lucky me, I just reeled in my middle line to rebait it so it's not in the way of getting tangled. That's convenient. Get my ninja mask off. This fish is pretty nonchalant, right now anyway, until I start swimming back and forth underneath my kayak. I gotta keep that line down low. He stuck his head up out of the water and shook his head, just like a bass. No, 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 he's directly under the kayak. Oh, there he is over there. He was ready. Oh. <laughs> he jumped right out of that net. Jumped right out of the net. All right. Got him. Got him. All right. I don't think I'm going to get out this time because my feet are just finally dry from that. All right. Let's get a little fish slime in the boat today. So yeah, this is a decent fish. Nice big belly. I'm guessing about seven pounds. I'm not gonna weigh him. Okay, fish two of the day. The day's turning out to be pretty good. Just a just a nice looking, uh, you know, six seven pounder. These fish fight so good. Back in the water he goes. Bye bye. These fish are all bite. I'm using the same thing on all three rods. Just a boily, homemade boily, or half a boily. I guess there's some cork in these so that they're a little more buoyant than uh, the standard boily. And uh, just uh, oats and cream corn and canned corn and some sweet feed pellets. And I'm still uh, working out the kinks on this uh, filming from the kayak. Not sure how this is going to turn out. Uh, if the camera angles are terrible, I apologize. I'll 
I'll do better next time. It is convenient that the clouds came in as my sunglasses are no longer usable. Very convenient. Oh. This one just took off. Magic rod just took off again. I had the drag set for big fish. No! Oh, I did. I had the drag set. Yeah, I, I loosened it now, but I had the drag set for big fish. It tugged too hard for just a moment there. Darn it. I forgot that I'm at a small medium fish lake here today. And there is nothing left. <laughs> Better fix that. What's going on with this? I think there's a fish on here. My line is moving that way. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Win some, lose some, I guess, huh? Or lose some, win some. I don't know if there are any giants in this lake. I kind of don't think so. I've seen fish probably 10 pounds, but I've... Uh, never seen any giants and, and the fish that I do catch are usually around uh, you know between five and ten pounds it's definitely not Dinkville though you know there's some other places there I go where it's just the population is super stunted and it's just Dinkville lots and lots and lots of two and three pound fish but I can get a look at this fish real quick yeah, I just caught a little tiny glimpse of him. I can tell he's not a giant, but uh, oh yeah, it's a good fish. All right, go on the left. Go over to the left. We're landing on the left today. Come on over. Today's landing zone is on the left. Make your way to the left. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger fish, and he's a little feistier. It always makes me the most nervous right here when they're close. All right, you want to go over there? It's deeper water over here. What a fighter, what a fighter. All right, buddy, let's get this done. In the net. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Blackbeard. All right. I think I better get out for this fish. And there he is, hooked in the bottom lip. Perfect. All right, biggest fish of the day so far. Oh, I'm going to about fall in. And uh, I'm guessing he's an 8 or 9, maybe even 10. He's excited. Finn's standing up. He's tense, too. He's trying to curl in half. Uh, what a great fish. Fought real good. I know there's mirrors in this pond. Maybe the next one can be a mirror. Let's put this guy back. Okay, go tell your friends. Nice. Frankly, I'm pretty tired and hungry, and if I hadn't have caught any fish, I'd be leaving by now, but kind of debating. I mean, they're biting, right? I should probably stay a little longer. We have a fish on the magic rod again. I haven't got all three rods out yet. I just got the second one out. 
And we have a taker here. This feels like a catfish. I like catfish, but honestly, they are weak compared to carp. Yep, channel cat. Granted, this is a small catfish, but uh, the big ones do fight pretty good. But just for a shorter amount of time, carp fight forever. Charlie Channel Cat. Squeak for him. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Get him out of here before he stuck me. He almost stuck me. All right. Last boily. That's all right. That doesn't mean I got to quit. I can just put corn on the hay rig if I want to keep fishing. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.